Welcome to Yatna Investment Academy. Through our various videos, we have said a lot about investing, its importance, ways to do it and so on. But now, it is time for some concrete piece of information telling you where does a fund stand so that you can take an investment call. We are starting with a series of videos showing fund analysis from Yagnya Investment Academy. There are certain terms you need to know in order to read the performance of various funds. And so, another series of videos starting with this one would familiarize you with all such terms. So let's get started. Our first term is standard deviation. It is an easy to understand measure. It is used to understand how risky your investment is. That is, how volatile it is. Standard deviation becomes an important measure in case of mutual funds as mutual fund is not a single stock, but it is a collection of stocks. Standard deviation here would indicate the stability of a mutual fund portfolio. Let us understand standard deviation with the help of an example. If I want to plot a certain set of data points on a graph, the values of which are 3, 4, 5, 5 and 4, it will look something like this. Now if I want to calculate the mean or average of these data points, I will have to add all of these divided by the number of data points which will give me the value of the mean or average which works out to be 4.2 in this case. Now a simple average or mean can be useful when the points are not too widespread like in this example. But in the case of mutual funds which is a collection of stocks, the performance could be gradually increasing or decreasing and just an average won't be enough in that case. And so you would need standard deviation along with the average to tell you what is the quality of this average. And quality of the average means how closely are the data points related to the mean. To calculate standard deviation, first we need variance. Variance is calculated by subtracting the mean from each data point, squaring it, adding all these values and then dividing it by the number of data points minus 1, which gives a value of 0.7 in this case. And further, the square root of variance gives you standard deviation, which works out to be 0.8367 in this case. So if we try to correlate this example to returns of mutual funds, it means that the returns would vary up or down by the value of standard deviation of that fund from its mean. Historical data collected with respect to standard deviation helps you to gauge the returns of a fund in future. Blue chip funds, debt funds, etc. would have a lower standard deviation while mid cap and small cap funds would have higher standard deviation. Like in the example that you see in front of you, HDFC Medium Term Opportunities Fund, which is a debt fund, has a standard deviation of 1.49, whereas DSP BlackRock Microcap Fund, which is a small cap equity fund, has a standard deviation of 18.7. The data has been taken as of 28th February 2017. The time span considered for calculation of average returns and the frequency of calculation of standard deviation may be different for different fund fact sheets and scorecards. But in case of fund analysis videos by Yadnya Investment Academy, standard deviation in case of equity would be calculated based on returns of trailing 3 years and would be calculated each month. And in case of debt funds, it would be calculated based on weekly returns available over the past 18 months. The tricky part with standard deviation is, it just reads deviation. It does not indicate whether it is up or down from the mean. Also, if a fund is performing at a steady pace, standard deviation is zero. So, standard deviation should not be considered into isolation. It should be considered with other parameters like alpha, beta, sharp ratio, etc. which we are going to learn in the subsequent videos to get the correct picture of the returns. Standard deviation can be used to compare funds 
within the same category. Also, a high standard deviation does not mean it is bad because in case of equities, standard deviation would definitely be higher and in case of stable investments like debt funds, it would be lower. So friends, in this video, we've seen what is standard deviation. We've seen an example of how it is calculated. But as far as the fund analysis videos go, you just have to understand what standard deviation indicates. It shows how risky or volatile your investment is. We've also seen how it should not be read into isolation and should be read with other parameters to get the correct picture of the returns. Hope you now understand what is standard deviation. Thanks for watching this video. Watch this space for more such topics. Until then, happy investing. If you have any questions, let us know in the comment section below our videos. And if you like our videos, please do subscribe. Thank you.